Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel Anna Bella and today I'm doing a Warhammer Age of Sigma Mortal Realms review issue 46. First things first, England, the nation of England in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland is now gone into a lockdown again. There's talk of it lasting until March the 31st, I'm just letting you know that. Who knows when it's going to end but we all need to stay safe, stay at home and do hands, face, space as much as possible. Anyway, back to Warhammer. I have another important announcement to make. There is talk at the moment of a successor to Warhammer 40k Conquest, as in Warhammer Imperium, possibly with the Space Marines versus the Necrons. But that is all I know at the moment. So, back to Warhammer Age of Sigma Mortal Realms issue 46. We get a scenery piece here. It is only partially constructed because I want the head to glue together first. As you can see, it's not gluing at the front there. Ugh. Yeah, it is fiddly and annoying. I will get on that. Um, this was fairly easy to construct, but obviously constructing it so that it stays on the head is a bit of an issue, particularly as you've got to glue these on it first and then add your ladder. I will show you how in the magazine because for once we've done the model first. So in this issue, we have all of this. So avant-garde in the cities one. Ta-da! Then we've got chaos, slaves to darkness. Then we've got the quest for Gal Mars. Then we've got the realms, the wrath of the war queen. Then we've got how to build the fallen stigma statue. Thank you, laptop, for interrupting. I'll get to that in a minute. See, as you can see here, you do have to glue those on to that bit. And that is going to be a fiddly, fiddly thing to do. Because you've got to do the platform, the head, and then the steps. I did the head first. And then I also did this part of the platform because that was fairly simple to do. I am leaving the rest to tomorrow. Because I want the head to be fully glued together and the platform fully glued first. So, and then the sub-assemblies. How to paint the fallen stigma statue. Then we've got battle plans. Then you've got the finished terrain. Then you've got the battle plans in the core rules. First blood, victory points, tutorial, scoring victory points, closing the gate. And it's well worth noting that we've got the battle plan, the burnished path. Then we've got the battle plan token. So we've got Stormcast Eternal control to tokens. Night Haunt objective control tokens. Victory points ranging from 1, 5, 50, 10 and 20 or 1, 5, 10, 20, 50, however which way you want to roll with it. Make sure you photocopy these, glue them on some card and then laminate them. That's my best advice. We're going to come to the back of that. Here is a statue that I have undercoated black, then dry brushed white. It's going quite well. Here is my recent attempts at painting. They have been very basically done. So we've undercoated them. We've got the armour on them. And we have done the bases in Astro Granite Grey. All ready for when I have to do the washes and the dry brushing with metal. The bell tower is coming on quite well. I'm really pleased with this. I actually did the um, wood first just because. So did the dryad bark, well actually black undercoat, dryad bark, then light wood colour on top of that and then I am going to move on and pro probably do the bell and then the um, columns I'm going to do white and that should look striking. As you can see here, look the bird is coming on really well, really really well. I've done that quite nicely. I am planning to do the lighter blue again just on the top two sets of wings there and then obviously there's his beak and his claws and talons have to be done and then he will be finished because I think with birds less is more. I did think about putting on like a lighter blue there and I was like it's already looking like that with its tail let's not wreck a good thing. 
So here we have the night haunt. These one, two, three, four are nearly done. I just have to crack on with their faces and redo some of their metal armor in their cloaks. And then those four will be ready to go away. These are coming on really well. I spray painted them blue, then a little bit of white, and then a little bit of the technical green that we've got for these dudes. And they're looking so nice. These ones are looking fantastic. They just need a little bit of grey on the bottom with the astro granite and obviously the details of the um, ruins there. And if there is are any flowers or skulls, so obviously the roses will be red and the skulls will be white. Look, there's a little skull dude. He'll need a skeleton. So him and the skeleton and its skull will need to be whitened. But I think it's looking really nice at the moment. Don't want to overdo it with these guys obviously the knives will need a metallic color on them but as they are I'm quite happy with them I really think less is more sometimes because you can overdo a model so there you have it so that's how the painting's coming along we've got the four griffy hands looking very nice thank you very much let me come to the back issue 47 we get the fast riders attack so there we go, some more repeater bolt throwers with a knife, an axe, and a bird. And then we get Immortal Realms issue 48, this epic looking figure, I have to say. So, the Grim Hauler. So that's looking quite cool. So please like, comment, and subscribe. And stay safe where you are, and thank you for your support. Bye now!